hope you are doing well today. Today I'm going to do a pottery challenge, which means I'm going to take a couple one-pound clay balls and a couple two-pound clay balls, and I'm going to see how tall of a cylinder I can make with each and how wide of a bowl I can make with each. And uh, if you want to take on this challenge as well and you make pottery, I'd love to hear your results down in the comments. Or if you're a YouTuber who makes pottery videos, I'd love to see you make a video about it and just see what kind of results you can get as well. But either way, let's go. Matthew Kelly, I take your challenge despite I think the obvious advantage you have over me. I've been away from throwing for 25 years. This is my third year back to throwing. I did once throw production for about three to five years, up to 130 pieces a day when I left. When I started it was about 30. Um, I've appreciated very much the good na spirited nature of your channel and bringing people together when they really seem to need it. Um, I'm um, going to take your challenge a little differently. I am going to do it blindfolded. And um, I've um, been, treat uh, been, been treated for glaucoma, the eye pressure, interocular eye pressure for the past I don't know how many years now successfully. Get regular testing never thought I would question um, getting tested versus not wanting to go into a doctor's office and, and mix with the public. So I've, this has been on my mind lately. I've seen this um, in another challenge somewhere. We'll see how it goes here for me today. I've got a one and a half pound lump of clay here, and I, um, <laughs> somewhere, okay, I put my bat up there, I put the uh, wooden rib there, the sponge, the needle, and here we go, we've got the clay. And we need to find a center of the wheel. I usually put a little bit of water down there to help it stick, and we will hopefully find the center of the wheel. And, uh, yeah, we are way off. I hope my uh, slop buck, scrap bucket is in the right place. We'll find out. And, uh, yeah, it's important to, um, whether you can see or not. To, uh, if you're a production thrower, to always put your tools down in the right same place so you can find them. I think I've got, yeah, a little bit thin on the bottom. I'm going to say, <laughs> this could be something to try that will help you with your throwing. I've sensed something happening there that I, and now that I obviously never have before. Um, you know, it may be take a while to catch up since um, we're doing this without seeing. I'm going to say that like when you get your um, eyeglasses were very bad and you get a new pair of glasses um, it takes a while for your head to adjust I think the same thing maybe uh, could happen here 
that, uh, getting a sense for this that I've never felt. And this is where normally I would go to a rib, but um, I just feel very uncomfortable about doing that because I wouldn't have the feel for the clay that I normally, that I do now. Not being able to see it. Um, I am going to do that anyway out of habit, as I said. I think this is something to not just try out, but possibly to sit down someday and make an entire, you know, 10, 12 board of pots. Um, something that possibly anybody could do to improve their throwing. This is totally unexpected. And I may just say I've had enough and that um, have already gained quite a bit um, through your challenge and with this experience. Got a bat up here. Place my uh, needle well under here or the wire. And it is sticking to the wheel, so we might have had to use the water to hydroplane it off there. Okay, well, <laughs> it's only a first try, but I'm pleased with that. Okay, thank you for the challenge. I'm not much of a teacher. I did have a blind student um, once many years ago. I don't know why I didn't try this. I should have. Okay, thank you.